Okay, question five. We have a diagram shows a piece of card. Write down the formula connecting A and W. Okay, it's a square piece of card. So the area must be um, the width times the length. And because it's a square, we know if this is W, this is W, this is W, this is W. So the area must be equal to W times W. That could be one way of writing it, but the preferred way would be to say the area is equal to W squared. Okay, and we'll be done for one easy mark. The diagram shows a cube. Write down the f uh, a formula collecting the volume with, with W. Well, if it's a cube, each of these are W, and the volume would be the width times the depth times the height. So the volume would be W times W times W, or W cubed. Okay? And for part C, finally, the area of one face of the cube is 20 centimetres squared. Hence, work out the volume. Now, going back to this cube, any particular um, surface area, any of these sides must have the same area because they've got the same uh, dimensions. And in particular, they're they must be W squared, right? Because it will be W times W. So the area of any face is W squared. Now, you know the area of a face is 20. So W squared must be equal to 20. So therefore, W must be the square root of 20. You only have the positive square root because it's a length and it must be positive. So that's W. Now you know the volume must be W cubed. So the volume must be the square root of 20 times the square root of 20 times the square root of 20. And all you have to do is tap that in your calculator and you will get 89.4 centimetres cubed to 1 dp. So we have 89.4 centimetres cubed to 1 decimal place. Okay, and we're done.